you know sometimes um this thought this thought pops into my head you know rarely but once in a while and it popped into my head today this is to everyone who believes in Jesus Christ I'm wondering maybe this uh, maybe there's uh, another reason why there's so much confusion with the, with followers of Christ and even people who are not followers of Christ and us who are follower, followers of Christ make it difficult and confusing for those who are not followers of Christ because I was thinking to myself why is it that so, so many of us believe in Jesus Christ but there's so many different denominations which I don't understand why is there a religion for Pentecostal a religion for Methodist, a religion for Catholic, a religion for Protestant, a religion for Baptist. A re it seems like I don't understand. And I, I don't know why, but I feel like this is not what Jesus intended. And when I think about it, I'm like, it would make sense that he didn't intend for this to happen because it would just confuse people more. We are literally sending a message ourselves to those who are not believers. We don't know which one of us is right. Or we believe our faith is right. No, we, no, Pentecostals, we believe our faith is right. Baptists, no, we believe our faith is right. And this sometimes... Uh, Catholic, we believe our faith is right. Methodist, we believe our faith is right. And then sometimes it just ends up in the end feeling like all phony when we all lie and say, well, it doesn't matter what denomination, just as long as we believe in Jesus Christ. And I'm like, is this what Jesus really wanted? This, for some reason, doesn't seem like if we're all in unity, this seems more like divisions. And I keep thinking, I don't think this is what Jesus wanted. I mean, who am I to speak? You know, I'm just a person that recently, like what, seven or eight months ago, gave their life to Christ. But there was always something that I never wanted to be a part of. I didn't want no label. I, I even had a problem being labeled as a Christian, but I'll accept that. Only because of the fact that I felt that maybe that name meant something and maybe it was supposed to mean something. But then so many of us, posers of Christ, so to speak, we ruined that label. We ruined that name. And then we showed the public that as well. We didn't live up to that name Christian. And all I keep thinking is, okay, Christian, Christ-like, but there's so many Christians that aren't Christ-like. I'm still trying to work it on myself, trying to be Christ-like. So that's, and then, you know, prosperity preachers and fake, fake followers and fake prophets say, oh, I'm a Christian. So I feel like I don't want that label. And all I wanted to be known was just either a follower of Christ or a child of Christ or one who who is walking with Christ. I would prefer that. But I definitely never want to be labeled. And I don't know. This is me personally speaking. I don't want to be labeled as a Pentecostal, as a Baptist, as a Methodist, as a Catholic, and so many others that, 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 that are believers of Christ, but yeah, we're separated, we're so divided because we have our own little churches and our own little beliefs and, and names for it, the Baptist religion, the Pentecostal religion, the Catholic religion, the Methodist religion, the, the, the Protestant religion. I'm like, 
If we're all supposed to believe in Christ, why are we even doing this? Wouldn't it be nice to go to a church that had no label on it, that wasn't considered Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal, and it was just a place where all people who believe in Christ come together and praise the living God together. And in doing so, letting Jesus take over all of that and make us realize that there was no need for all these divisions of different types of denominations of churches. This is what it was all about, just us coming together, letting us be guided, at least, you know, by the word, guidance from Jesus and the Holy Spirit and we just find all that connection with all of us and then we we all realize at the end we were wasting all our time why we were so divided and uh, calling ourselves Baptists and Pentecostal when it didn't matter God doesn't care about that Jesus doesn't care about that I never remember you know and then I never remember Jesus ever saying okay Go out there and separate yourselves. I want some people to be Pentecostal. I want some people to be Baptist. I want some people to be Methodist. Didn't Jesus just go out there and say, I'm, I'm giving you the word so you can be priests to the world. Go out into the world as priests and share the gospel. He didn't say share the gospel as a Baptist, share the gospel as a Pentecostal, share the gospel as a Catholic, Methodist, Lutheran, and all this madness. He just wanted us to share the gospel, right? And then there's one. The Pentecostals, I, I don't know. This is what I'm thinking. Pentecostals, I guess they call themselves Pentecostal because they say, oh, it's to um, show praise and, and to remember the day of Pentecost, you know, when the Holy Spirit came down or whatever. I was like, okay, it was called the day of Pentecost. But we will start opening things up that don't need to be opened up and start causing more confusion. And if all of a sudden you just decided, okay, because let Pentecost be Pentecost. Don't all of a sudden use that and then name your religion that because then didn't Jesus say he hates all religions? And I'm pretty sure he didn't care. He didn't want his religion to all of a sudden be separated into different denominations and, and to be labeled this and to be labeled that and this and that and that. You know, if I was a person from the outside, not a believer of Christ, looking in, I would be like, I'm sorry, all of this is a mess. Y'all confusing me. You say you, you believe in Jesus, but then you're Pentecostal and then Pentecostals tend to only gather with each other. You're Baptist, but Baptists tend to only gather with each other. You're Catholic. Catholics only tend to gather with each other. Protestants, Methodists, Lutherans only tend to gather with their own group. How is that saying the family of Christ? This is why, you know, nobody needs to listen to me. This is just me personally. Me personally. Sometimes, um, I guess sometimes you have to see things from the perspective of someone who doesn't believe in Christ. And how would you look at that? You would view it the same way. Like, why should I follow any of you when you all say you all believe in Christ but you're not all on the same page and you're separating yourself through labels and then we have the nerve to go and judge a world on their labels shouldn't we be the ones showing them this is the right way to do things yes we are all followers of Christ we want no name. We need no name. The only name is Jesus in our lives. And that's all we focus on. His commandments, 
his word, his good news, and the way he wants us to live, which is a beautiful way to be a better human being than we could ever do on our own. That's just, you don't need to feel that way. This is just the way I feel. And I don't understand it. And I wish it wasn't like that. Because anybody outside looking in would feel the same way too. Why? Why are we doing this if we're all supposedly all followers of Christ? This world is confused as it is. Shouldn't we be the ones not to cause confusion or be a part of that confusion, but just show them this is the way. Jesus is the way. This is the beacon over here from all that confusion. This is what makes sense. God bless everyone. And I hope... Oh, I don't know what to say. I just wish we were just all together. Not so many different. It's like when you go to every block, you see uh, like five churches and they're all different, but they all say they believe in Jesus. And you're like, well, all I want is just Christ. Which one do I go to? May the spirit of Christ, may the spirit of Christ, the fire of God, the love of God, bring us all together the way perhaps Jesus intended us to come together. God bless everyone. Bye.